Okay, another rather not too exciting topic is today about saving. Um, because there are different options or different ways to save files um, and it might be confusing if you ever open the file menu and see all those save things over here. I just want to cover that really quickly. Um, so the default is the save project and whenever you hit this you can just save your project into one file and usually what you get when you save a Cinema 4D file is a .c4d file. Um, another part or thing you get is as soon as you use textures in your project then you will also get a folder which is called TEX, TEX for tax, the texture folder. Um, which is also very important um, if you hand over your file to a different person. Um, but more on that in a second. So yeah, save project just saves your project to your the file you you named it. Uh, save project as if is if you want to save it as a different file. Then you have the save incremental, which is quite useful if you want to, as the name suggests, save incremental. This means Cinema 4D will add a number at the end of your uh, Cinema 4D file. So for example, I would have a file which is called final and then you have a, a file which is final 001 and a file the next save which is uh, final 002 and so on. So you can do increments in saving files and it's handy if you don't want to lose the progress you did before. Um, but keep in mind it can be quite heavy on your hard drive if you have a lot of files or big sized files, then um, yeah, it will not only copy the difference, but it will make a copy of your complete file. Save all projects is if you have multiple projects open and you just want to save all of them, uh, you can just hit the save all projects. And then you have the save project with assets. And this is um, has to do with this texture folder. So Let's say you have different textures brought in from your hard drive inside Cinema 4D and they are placed all over your computer. Now, if you now want to send your Cinema 4D file to someone else, they also need your textures in order to, well, get the textures uh, in, in the project. And um, now you don't want to go ahead and select all those textures from your computer and put it into a folder and zip that. You, you want to just go here and save project with assets and then Cinema 4D will create a Cinema 4D file, a new one and copy all the different textures and assets you've put in there in this one folder and you just can send it out to someone else. So that's um, yeah, also quite handy. Now, um, one thing to keep in mind that although saving it doesn't have anything to do with rendering. So saving a rendered image is a whole different process and we cover this as soon as we talk about rendering images. Um, but for now, all we're talking here is about saving your project, not the rendering. So just keep in mind that if you do renderings and you don't save your renderings, it doesn't matter if you saved your project, the renderings will be lost and, and gone forever. Uh, unless, unless, at least um, unless there it is, unless you haven't, uh, you have saved them beforehand. Okay, um, the last thing about saving is if you go to preferences and you go to files, you will find this auto save function over here. Now, if your saving muscle memory is very bad and you forget to save all the time and Cinema 4D crashes, which will happen, I guess at some point and all your progress will be lost um, and you want to spare you this moment of grief then you might want to activate the autosave function and with this Cinema 4D will basically just autosave in a given time interval. So for example this could be five minutes uh, and you can also say limit it to a certain amount of copies. Um, yeah. Five minutes, it's, you, you can choose whatever time you like there um, and you can define a save folder. It's the project folder or is it a custom one or whatever. Um, yeah, that's quite, um, quite useful. And sometimes if you work on something which is quite heavy on the computer with a lot of scene files and a lot of particles and so something which makes it more prone to, to crash, then I go ahead and activate this just to make sure. Um, yeah, I just wanted to show you that to make the 
this savings chapter complete. All right, that's it for about saving stuff um, and yeah, good savings in the future.